This is Film Philosophy, a new video series from IM Tamil. In this video series, I'm going to discuss with you the things I have learned so far in filmmaking. But this video will be useful for whoever wants to write a story or whoever is interested in writing a story. Because in this video, we're going to discuss about story writing. Story. For me, story is a unique and interesting riddle. A unique and interesting riddle. Let's take this unique part first. How to make your story a unique one? In this, my first point is unseen visuals. The visuals that people haven't seen before. Let's watch some clips for example. Is that everyone? You wanted more? Avengers! Assemble. God Almighty. The clips you are watching right now are from the highest grossing movies of all time. Do you remember the first time you saw a dinosaur? Oh, blue. We don't really believe it. It's like a miracle. The one thing that's common in all these movies is unseen visuals. Only I can live forever. Who said that? Hello. <gasps> you can talk. Hello, of course. It's all here. Let's take the highest grossing movie of all time, Avatar. The story of this movie is a very simple and a very old one. But this movie crossed so much just because of its visuals. You should see your faces. You can say this is all CGI and you need a huge budget to make these kinds of movies. That is true, but I just wanted to ascertain that how important the unseen visuals are. There are movies that have unseen visuals which didn't need a huge budget. Let's see how to make those kinds of movies. First, let's divide this unseen visuals into two categories as untold stories and unseen scenarios. Let's take this untold stories first. A good example for this would be the movie Visarani. The visuals that comes in this movie wouldn't have been seen by 90% of the people. Because most of us wouldn't have seen a jail or don't know what's going on there. This is the untold story I'm talking about. Another good example is Deeran Adhigaram Ondru. The visuals that comes in this movie are also unseen by most. How the truck thieves are targeting and slaughtering the people, their way of living and how the cops are investigating and solving this case. All these are unseen visuals to a common man. Now let's take this unseen scenario. A good example would be Adisei Piravi. Mr. Raman, what's the money? What's the bit of the nonsense? This is an unseen scenario. The scenario or situation that people haven't seen before or heard before. So, how to come up with such a scenario or a situation? The easiest way is combining rare genres. If you take this movie, this is a mythical fiction movie. It has unseen scenario that people haven't heard before, which results in unseen visuals. Let's take another example, the movie Eram. This is a supernatural crime thriller. This is also a rare combination of genres. It will have unseen visuals. Mayavan movie is a mythical crime movie. It has unseen visuals. Let's take another rare genre like historic fiction. Example, Sirichalai, Lagan, Ayarathilurvan, Madrasapatnam. Let's take this Ayarathilurvan movie. If you have to perfectly describe this movie, it's a historic fictional adventure movie. This is a rare combination of genres. That's why this movie has so many unseen visuals. So, try combining rare genres or rare combination of genres if you want to make your movie a unique one. Now let's take this interesting riddle part. Before we jump into this topic, we'll briefly discuss the story structure. 
let's take the three x structure the instant when you say three x structure many will say that it's a very old one and we have broken the rule a very long time ago there is no breaking the rules there is only advanced rules or advanced techniques if it's not a three x structure it's either a five x structure or a eight point structure and and if you still want to divide it further there is john toby's 22 steps method or the five minute sequence method which divides your story into 25 parts it's like physics and quantum physics if you analyze particles in quantum physics it may behave differently but physics is the basics likewise this 3x structure is the basics and if you divide your story into several parts you will be forcing your story with too many rules whereas in a 3x structure you will have very few rules to follow and again this is film philosophy so let's take this basic 3x structure okay act 1 as we all know we're going to tell the problem first then the character establishment or the character introduction and then how the problem affects the characters let's take the first one the problem as i said before your story should be a riddle till the end so like in a riddle you shouldn't explain it all this is my first point never reveal your story fully so the problem shouldn't be explained as a whole it should be like a riddle and then give them some clues here and there as the story progresses this will make the whole story interesting let's take the pirates of the caribbean movie as an example in this movie they will give you a riddle in the first scene pirates as you and then in the next 15 minutes they will give you a clue and then in another 10 minutes they will give you another clue where did you get that and then another one so there is a curse that's interesting and then another one yes turner booster even after 60 minutes you don't know the whole story of it it will still be a riddle let's take another example resident evil in this movie too they will give you a riddle at first even after watching 80% of the movie we don't know the answer to the riddle let's take one eye matu kutti only in the last scene we come to know why this character is doing all these things this is what makes all these movies interesting so never reveal your story next one is character establishment and then how the problem affects the characters these two topics are very important one and a very huge one so we'll discuss it in another video but my next point in act 1 is challenge yourself story and then there is challenge yourself character let's first see this challenge yourself story so you have written a story now try to add another story or two inside it let's take idhar ke tane aase patai balak mara movie In this movie this Bala character is a separate story the Sumar Munji Kumar another and then there is the story of these two I'm not referring to the subplot as story if you take it as a subplot it will remain as a subplot but if you make it as another story by giving it its own character its own history and then interweaving it with other stories it will make the whole story a little more complicated or in other words interesting so try to challenge yourself by adding one or more stories to your story or plot next one is challenge yourself character as you add two or more stories you will inadvertently add few more characters these characters you add should have interesting character with interesting personality all you have to do is create few interesting characters with interesting personality and let them mingle it will automatically make your story interesting let's take snatch for example it has more than a dozen of interesting characters if you take this guy ritchie movie and tarantino movies you will have at least a minimum of 10 to 12 interesting characters these characters make this movie even more interesting let's take sudha kavu movie it has around 10 interesting characters this is what makes these movies interesting to watch or even rewatch it so your story should at least have five or more interesting characters 
and the same thing goes for the villains in your story only in a superhero movie can you show one villain as the all powerful one not in a realistic movie so try to add two or more villains in your story either directly or indirectly let's take the dark knight movie for example the villains in this movie are the joker the two face is another villain love or gotham's underground is another villain and then batman's own rule of not killing anyone is another major villain to him and then time time is another major villain actually if you analyze joker's plans his plan a is going after batman's identity plan b is his loved ones and plan c is gotham city in all these plans time is a partner for the joker when the joker's last plan to fails he looks at time as if looking at a partner who betrayed him in the next scene the joker says that this is what happens when an unstoppable force meets a immovable object the unstoppable force is joker and his plans with time and the immovable object is batman and his character what happens is both get destroyed but then the dark knight rises so like time is a indirect villain to batman your story should at least have one indirect villain and two direct villains so try to bring in another villain in your story next one is act 2 if you make your second act interesting you have a winner in your hands so how to make the second act interesting my first point is establish unpredictability imagine you're driving through a jungle and you have been told that tigers roam in this jungle but no one knows where it will be so you will be excited and keen throughout the ride to spot a tiger it will make the whole ride interesting this is what establishing unpredictability offers one best example is game of thrones those who haven't read the novel they will have no idea what's going to happen next this is what made this whole series interesting and got everybody hooked let's look at another example black hawk down or any other war film for that matter you know anything can happen at any time in these kinds of movies that's what made these movies interesting so you should establish early in your story that anything can go wrong at any time then people will follow it with their utmost attention so try to establish unpredictability the next one in act 2 is try to add new characters we have discussed it in act 1 and done it there right challenge yourself character no just to make the second act interesting introduce new characters let's take this ice age dawn of the dinos for example just to make the story interesting they will introduce this character buck oh hello mammals actually this movie is a remake of ramayana how let's assume that this sid is sita and the t-rex is ravan ravan kidnaps sita and ram and lakshmi go through kishkinda and then with the help of hanuman rescues sita the story arc is the same that of ramayana so just like in ramayana how they add new characters to the story in the second half your story should also have new characters introduced in the second act my last one in act 2 is unseen visuals like how kishkinda and the monsters in lanka are introduced in the second act of ramayana the best place to show the unseen visuals in your story is your second act let's take the aruvi movie for example in this movie the second act is hijacking of the tv station if you remove this whole tv station hijack this will be a sad and boring movie to watch in this movie the girl hijacking the tv station is a unseen scenario it has unseen visuals and the unpredictable things this girl does in this movie are the ones which made this movie so interesting so in your story to try to establish unpredictability introduce new characters and try to bring in the unseen visuals in the second act act 3 my only point in act 3 is that your interesting riddle should have a interesting answer the audience are so experienced by watching a lot of good movies they will come up with a better solution than us in 2 hours so your only job is to come up with the best solution which should surprise the audience even if it takes 2 months or 2 years it should be a interesting answer but your solution or answer should have logic in it if there is no logic in it it's not a story anymore if you can't bring in most of this drop the story 
and move on to your next story. What? Yeah, you heard that right. If you can't bring in most of this in a story, just drop it and move on. Because if you try really hard, you may end up adding cliché things and things that won't fit in the story. And believe me, your next story will be better than the story you are writing now. Because experience. So, just keep writing. Just write a story that you want to. Only if you want your story to be made into a movie, you will have so many limitations like 120 pages, location, cast and so on. Just write the story as a story. Then it won't have any limitations. Example, Kadalpura, Pony and Selvan. All these novels were never written with the intention of making it into a movie. So, they had all the freedom and they embraced this freedom. That's why these stories gained immortality. You too keep writing stories and I wish you that your stories too gain immortality. In the next video, I am going to discuss with you the process involved in registering a story and the method I follow in creating a story and writing a script. If you want to see all these videos, subscribe to the channel and press the notification icon. If you think this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. And if you think this video will be useful for someone else, share it with them. See you in the next video. Bye.